Hello Aquarius, this is going to be your weekly tarot reading guys, April 23rd to April 29, 2018. So, uh, <clears throat> that being said, I'm now shuffling the cards and, and while I'm shuffling, I'm going to explain you the spread. This is going to be a four card spread. Now the first one is going to show us what the topic of the week for you Aquarius is going to be. The second card shows up <clears throat> the core of the situation. The third card is going to reveal us the challenges that your Aquarius needs to go through during that week. And the last one it shows up the, uh, the result of all that. All right. So uh, now shuffled and cut. The first card shows up the justice, which is the topic of your week. The second card shows the core of the matter here or the core of the situation. That is going to be the two of swords. The third one shows up the challenges that you need to overcome, and that is the five of pentacles. And the last one shows up the results of all that. This is the uh, the chariot card. So this spread speaks for waiting or for a position that you have taken that you are waiting for something to happen. Now, for the majority of you, you are waiting for miracle to happen, for what I can say here, regarding either your relationship or regarding either your career. Now, this is explained here with the Two of Swords, guys, and with the Five of Pentacles in the same time as a, um, as a challenging card. And in these couple of cards either speak that you don't have the necessary resources in order to move on forward, or you lack the necessary support to move on forward, or the third version is that you, uh, I cannot say like lack the idea, but you do have a dilemma in between couple of choices here to make and you are stalling the situation in hope that the correct choice is going to become obvious for you, all right? And it never going, it is never going to be, guys. So how you can put your situation back in stir? It is through just this card, the topic of your week. Set your priorities straight. Be accountable toward oneself. When you are about to make a decision here, when you are about to make a choice, first and foremost, you need to think about yourself. If that means yourself, uh, literally yourself, or first for your children, if they are the biggest part of yourself. Not talking about that you need to be selfish but you need to think about you need firstly to think about for the most important things in your life okay either your children your career etc etc because this is a serious drama here that is putting you on hold, guys and you're trying to maintain that equilibrium um it is it is very common in the society that the equilibrium is between relationship and career, you know. Um, you you all watched those movies, those, um, sh the, the, yeah, those movies where, for example, a police officer often gets uh, a divorce because his wife or, or, or her husband cannot stand them being uh, all, all around the clock in their career. So it's kind of like these kind of extreme things, you know, and your sacrifice is one so you can be in an equilibrium in the situation, but this doesn't get you anywhere. So it's time for you guys to, um, <clears throat> to start doing something for your own personal development. In this kind of situation, I have said it many times uh, during my live streams, you know, during my videos, and I will say it again. No matter how much you do, guys, you will never be able to satisfy everybody around you. So why don't you do something else for a change? Eh? Why don't you try to satisfy yourself um, at first and afterwards? Whenever gets uh, in the queue, gets in the queue, you know, whenever gets, uh, where, uh, whoever gets satisfied afterwards gets satisfied. But the bottom line here is you will never be able to, um, again, satisfy everybody around you. And no matter how hard you try, there will be always people displeased with your position, with your actions and with your contribution. So start contributing for your own personal development. It is all that these cards are speaking. Not to mention here with the five of pentacles is that these challenges comes on many fronts, all right? And the difficulty here for you will be how to uh, structure your plan moving on forward. Because those difficulties will um, incapacitate you. <clears throat> uh, from many different angles, you know, but the um, <clears throat> Incapacity is not going to be that severe that you cannot 
uh, move on, you know, you, you just cannot move on with everything. So you have to, uh, let's say you have to take water for, for one source and put it into other. You need to take water from one bottle and place it into other so you can fill, uh, you can fill up the bottle. The point is that you cannot have everything uh, simultaneously and that's why you need to put your priorities here straight. Which needs to be, which thing needs to be the one that requires your immediate attention, all right? It cannot be multiple, it can be just one. So think of the most important one and start working toward it and until you don't have it entirely completed, you don't pull yourself away from it, okay? You don't occupy with yourself with other different things because it's simply multitasking. It will just create more dramas, more dilemmas, more um, hesitation as well, and uh, incapability to make uh, inaccurate choices. And then we do have the result of all that, which is the uh, chariot card. And the chariot card speaks, guys, for a big preparation for you, for you jumping on forward. In a sense of uh, preparation, in a sense of you are dealing with those kind of issues which which require your immediate attention. And by doing so, uh, okay, by doing so, you are making your uh, environment, your uh, career place, your relationship as well, the position that you are finding yourself fight much more stable and much more stable like a milestone you this week yeah that's that's the correct word this week you Aquarius are going to create a, a milestone for yourself on which you are going to um, use it as a, a support and a, a step as well you know a platform to jump forward so don't fail on that guys but yeah, it's, it's really crucial for you to analyze accurately which is the activity that requires or the enterprise that requires your immediate attention here and you just jump into it immediately without actually deviating yourself from it until it's a 100% complete so that was your tarot reading for the upcoming week Aquarius is April 23rd to April 29 2018 I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video uh, I would like to take a couple of seconds here to apologize guys that I couldn't give you these videos earlier because I do had a health issue in with a family member and uh, I didn't have the physical opportunity to shoot them earlier but I but I like to say as well that from the next week moving on forward we will get back on track with the dailies monthlies weeklies and etc uh, etc cetera, et cetera. that being said it was an honor for me guys to be uh, your reader and to um, be your host for these weekly readings we're going to see each other around I hope until then bye